Good morning YouTube, it's uh, Sunday the 7th of July, we're back up the allotment and today the plan is to try and get the greenhouse, what's just behind me, finally fixed in location. Uh, as you've seen previously I've done the block foundation to basically raise it up and it means I can use all the soil underneath. I'm going to be using C, uh, I think it's C16 wood um, to make basically a wooden frame to go on top of the blocks and then attach the greenhouse onto the wooden frame. Uh, I just find that that'll be a lot easier than trying to attach it straight to the blocks. So we're going to be up here using the circular saw, the new toy I got from Screwfix, um, along with my Dewalt drill on that. It is a Sunday morning, it is early, so we're going to wait until at least 8 o'clock, um, do the first cut or two, see how loud it is, and if need be, wait a bit longer, because I don't want to wake up the neighbours really and annoy anyone. So um, in the meantime, we're going to start moving some of these blocks uh, and get rid of the rest of the concrete the, where the greenhouse used to be. So, see you in a minute. Okay people, so it's now about quarter past eight. Uh, me and my brother have been moving most of the rubble um, from the old greenhouse. As you can see down there, um, we've got so far about 11 bags of rubble. I think there's going to be probably another 20 bags. Um, I'm not actually going to be taking them off the plot, I'm actually going to be using them as hardcore underneath my puffs when I finally get around to the puffs. But as I said before, the plan for today is to get the greenhouse fixed in place. But we had to wait until a reasonable time, as it is a Sunday morning. So we're now going to measure the greenhouse, move it off the blocks and start on the wooden frame. Okay, so in the last clip we would have seen this, measure the greenhouse and move it out of the way. Um, I've got one of the first bits of wood behind me, I measured it out to size already, um, but I'm going to be using my new toy uh, from Screwfix. It's the Dewalt uh, cordless circular saw, never used one of these before, so hopefully it goes well, bear with me. So hold it in the middle. Huh? So that's the first cut guys, um, I'm going to lay it on the blocks and just see how it fits. We're going to do all four sides and then screw them together.
Okay, so I've made the first three basically sides, as you can see, and I've laid them on top. Um, only problem is, I was using, my was always on the basis that this was a 45 degree angle compared to the right angle on a saw. I was using this saw, but it doesn't turn out to be 45 degrees. This one does look more like it's 45 degrees. So I'm gonna try and rectify it with this. Um, I'll take you over and show you what I mean. I've got an actual square to show you a proper right angle. Um, and basically the wood's not cut right. So I'll show you quickly and then we'll try and rectify it. Right, there. right so as you can see, these are the cuts I've made. If I actually line these up, slide that one back. So they join. Do you want me to hold it? No, that's fine. So they join. If I put my right angle on top, you can see, if I go straight along that edge, we're out. <laughs> out by quite a lot, to be honest. Um, so I need to try and rectify this. Um, hopefully the blue saw will have a proper 45 degree angle on it, and I can use that. Um, it looks like I might be able to just shave it down, make it fit. So I'm gonna try, I'm gonna cut the corner on this one and the corner on this one quickly just to see if I can get it to work and then we'll come back and try this again in a minute. Okay, so I've tried that with the blue saw. Um, as you can tell, it's still not a 90 degrees. So I'm coming off here. Um, the only way I can think of rectifying it is, it's 95 mil across. So I'm gonna measure 95 mil from the top down, mark it where I already have there. And I'm gonna straight edge across here using the set square. And then I'm going to draw a line from the point here to the corner, cut that. Hopefully that will do it. If not, I probably ruined three, maybe four bits of timber wood, basically. Yeah. So I'll be back in a minute. Okay. So basically, we've done the four other corners, a uh, three other corners. Sorry, we've rectified the issue, but I think there's a slight bow in the wood as these two aren't coming together. So I'm going to get my brother to pull them together, and I'm going to put the last screws in. Um, the little corner bits that were off the, the wood uh, that we cut off these ones I'm going to use as corner supports as well just to hold them together a little bit more um, hopefully it's going to be square and then we can attach it to the blocks but we'll just have to wait and see Once I've got one screw in, it shouldn't, shouldn't be too bad. <laughs> oh, you've got one? Yeah, I've got one. I've got three actually. Should have only had two. Oh, okay, I'll start putting this in one sec. Wait until it bites through. Okay, yeah. there we go. Put them together. That shifted it ever so slightly out the wrong way. So let's come back a tiny bit. Oh god. There? Yeah. Alright. Is that gonna yeah. Ah oh, fuck it, it's just gonna make and then I go. I'll go down underneath. But do on the bottom one. So So, okay, so what we're going to do now is we're actually going to try and see if it's square on the blocks. <laughs> Relatively square. Way. Not too bad. <laughs> Not too bad at all. I might be able to bring that out to the front a bit on that one. This one's like slightly overlapping here. But yeah, but that's fine. We can go a bit back on this corner if we can. Are there? So yeah, you're in there. Yeah, that's even. This Stop. one isn't now. Yeah. As you can see, the original blocks 
are not square. That's why I did it like this. Um, we're now going to put the corner pieces in for a bit more support and then we're going to try and attach it to the actual blocks. Okay, so we've got the wood basically where we want it to be. Um, it's not square compared to the blocks. The wood is actually square, but the blocks they laid aren't square. Uh, it was the first time I've laid blocks, so it's a learning curve. But what I have done, you can just see it. I've lo lined the blocks with a sharpie. Hiya, oh, morning. Um, along here. And then I know where to reposition it afterwards. So we're going to start drilling through and then... Go from there. I've now redone the, the holes that I did with eight mils with six and put the raw plugs in. Hopefully they all should bite now. So if I, my brother can give me a hand, I'll quickly readjust it back on and try and screw it down. Can we give us a hand, Jake? Just readjust. Uh, yeah, they're all in. So now I'm going to try to see if they will screw down in. Okay, so that's everything now screwed down. Uh, it's attached to the blocks, it ain't going nowhere. Uh, there is a little bit of an air gap underneath the blocks, as the blocks I laid weren't exactly level either. Um, it's all a learning curve really, but I'm going to put a DPM on this now, so it's going to come from the top down to the sides. 
uh, try and work out how I'm going to do that and then I'm going to fit the greenhouse on top so wish me luck okay so this is my damp proof membrane I bought the 450mm wide to make my life easier as you can see I've test fitted that side um, we're going to use this product called basically sticks like shit um, it's really strong adhesive I'm going to put it along the block and then along the top of the wood and I'm going to basically stick it on it doesn't have to be dead on uh, the corners I'm going to have to work on a bit because I've had to cut them down into to make it fit but we're going to crack on and get it done now Line up and put in the cut there, okay? With the corner, and we can just wedge it around if we do. Okay, so that's one side done. Um, basically, we just got to cut the rest to fit and then do the other sides. Slightly over. Do you want the blade, yeah? Yeah. Let's the blade out, let's be careful. Pull it tight and just slice off the edge.
Okay, so as you can see, DPM's now on around the whole uh, greenhouse base. Soil's not actually going to come all the way up here, but I'd rather be safe than sorry. We're going to lift the greenhouse back into place now, put it on top, hopefully not knocking this DPM too much as it's still setting. And then we're going to drill holes through the greenhouse so I can drill into the wood underneath. So wish us luck. Bingo. <coughs> okay, so it's basically five past twelve. Um, we've got the greenhouse. Well, we've basically built the wood. Wood's on there, as you've seen. Uh, we've done down the DPM. We've moved the greenhouse back into place. I drilled one hole through the greenhouse and basically snapped a drill bit. What wasn't good, but I basically put one screw in so far to hold the greenhouse in place. I've got to go now, but I will be back up later to finish this. So I'll bring you guys along with me. Um, but I'll show you what I've done so far. So this is where I've drilled. So I put one screw in just there to hold it in place. It's not secure, secure as I've got to do it all the way around. But I'm going to drill little holes like that and then drill it and screw it basically to the greenhouse. So that's it for now, guys. I will be back up shortly, so I will see you in a minute. Okay, so it's 10 past five now. Uh, back up the allotment again. Um, basically had to deal with what I needed to deal with today. I'm back up here now, so I'm gonna finish drilling. Oh, step down. Drilling the, uh, the holes to attach the greenhouse. Worked out there's about 15 holes I need to drill. And then I need to basically screw it in hopefully that's enough to hold it in place we'll try and do a little test pull and see if it does any gaps that are left i'm gonna get um expanding foam i think spray the expanding foam in and then cut it back just so it blocks off any air gaps or anything like that and then it'll be onto the glass or perspex as i want to try and get smashed through perspex probably going to measure the back of the greenhouse as well try and work out the panels how much they're going to cost i want solid panels i don't want sort of like you can get sort of s clips um and then you put a glass panel and then hook the s clip and then put another glass panel into the s clip i just want solid panels all the way up um, i just think it looks cleaner and tidier I'm a little bit ocd like that i know the uh sort of dpm doesn't look the tidiest and the cleanest but after a couple of days or so i will sort it out i'll cut it back and tidy it up and maybe look into painting the wood and rendering the bl blocks but for the time being I just want to get it fixed in place and we can go from there. Okay people so as the greenhouse now drilled in place um, it did break two maybe three more drill bits to be honest i lost count i was getting quite frustrated um but i have screwed it all the way around um i even snapped off the head of some of the screws as you can see just there and also just there um but i just made new holes and placed them in instead so i am gonna have to probably get an angle grinder and cut across the bottom to get rid of them because now in my luck i'll end up stepping on them at some point as i am I am quite clumsy. Uh, I'm just going to measure the back glasses so I've got rough sizes for myself so I can price up the back glass. Uh, but that's it for today, guys. Hope you enjoyed that video. Uh, smash that like button. Don't forget to subscribe. And see you again next time.